In this segment, we want to talk about what it is, who it's for, and why it could really complement anything that you have in salon to perform all of your permanent hair color needs. All right, welcome to this YouTube seminar about our Agora Royal Permanent Hair Color a color made by colorists for colorists. Every major manufacturer out there of hair color will likely have a main staple permanent hair color brand under their portfolio. For us at Schwarzkopf Professional, it is Agora Royal. Now before we get into the actual assortment and what we have available for you to, to kind of work, all the different services that you've got, let's talk a little bit about the technology. You'll see things in Agora Royal like the instructions for use or the technical manual that say true color in high definition. You'll also see uh, something that says true to swatch. So let's break down each one of those and talk about what they mean. First up, we're going to talk about true color in high definition. The easiest way that I can think to explain this to you is think of your favorite movie, uh, whatever your favorite movie is. And you, a long time ago, if you're old like me, and you watched that movie on like an old school box television, you saw the actors and the actresses and the animals and the sky and all the things that made that your favorite movie. And then years later, maybe the next year, you got a really like flat screen, ultra high definition TV. And now you watch your same favorite movie on the big flat screen TV. Still the same actors, still the same environment, still the same hair, but now on the flat screen, ultra high definition TV, you see things a lot more clearly, crisp, sharp, and they appear to be more alive. So it's essentially the same kind of technology here in Agora Royal. Uh, the old level six red that we had versus the new level six red. There's still a level six red. But with the new one, we've added different pigment combinations to make that level six red just a bit more faceted or a little bit more complex. Again, there's still a level six red, but the ultra high definition, uh, true to swatch, is going to have a little bit more shimmer, uh, facets. It'll appear just a little bit more complex is, I guess, the best way to put it. So that true color in high definition technology, just think of it as how it applies to TV and then how it would apply to an actual color itself. Now let's talk about what true to swatch actually means. True to swatch in the Agora Royal swatch book, which we're gonna show you in a minute, basically means that the swatches that we're showing you are shown on level. Let me show you. So right here, we have our Dash 88 Red series. Now from afar, we have levels four, five, and six. From where you're looking, there might not be much of a jump on camera between four and six. You can tell that there's a level difference, but here's something to keep in mind. This level six red is shown on, on a natural level six. Basically what we're saying is this level six red is not printed on a white swatch, it's printed on a level six. And what that tells me is if I have a client who is a level six and I do this 6-88 or level six intense red, this is what it's going to look like on that level six. The same is true for the level five and the level four. It basically alleviates a little bit of that hesitancy or reluctancy about using a new color if Agora Royal is new to you. What we're telling you is that level six red is going to look like that swatch on a natural level six, making it true to swatch color results. Now that we've covered true to swatch and what that means, also true color and high definition, we want to talk about the numbering system. All of Schwarzkopf professional colors are denoted by a numbering system. Let's break this down as you can see on the chart on the screen. The number that comes before the dash in any box of Schwarzkopf Professional hair color that you see indicates the level or the lightness or darkness of whatever that tube or shade is in that box. Then there's a dash. That dash is really important because it separates the level or the lightness and darkness of what that tube is and then the tone directions. Now the tone directions in Schwarzkopf Professional uh, we've noted them by, by the use of numbers. So from zero to nine, each number represents a different tone. 
So for example, as you can see on the chart here, dash zero would mean natural. Dash one, Sandre, dash two, ash or blue, dash three being matte or green, dash four is beige or a muted gold. Think of it as a cool gold. Dash five is actually gold. Dash six is chocolate. Think of it as like a warm chocolate, almost in a goldy orange tone under direction. Dash seven is copper or more of that orange. Dash eight being red, a true red, not a hollow red, pink red, cool red. It is a true red. And then lastly, our dash nine being violet or more of that purple tone direction. So let's break this down to see how it works. Right here, we have a tube of Agora Royal. And on the front, when you flip it to see exactly what it is, you'll see here, it says medium blonde natural. But above that, you have seven dash zero. So thinking about what we just talked about, the seven comes before the dash, meaning this is a level seven tube of color or medium blonde. Then you've got the dash. Remember, that separates the level and the tone. So if the first number that comes after the dash is zero, and zero in Schwarzkopf Professional means natural, this is a level seven tube of natural hair color. Now, on occasion, you'll see that we have shades in the assortment that have two numbers after the dash. That simply means the first number is the primary tone direction, and the second number is the secondary tone direction. So let's take this second tube of color. And you can see here, we have a seven dash zero zero. So the seven comes before the dash. Now we just discovered that seven dash zero is a level seven neutral. But what happens if I have two zeros after the dash, or for that matter, two of any number after the dash? They play together. So for this instance, two zeros after the dash tells me that this is a level seven extra neutral tube of hair color. You'll also see things like 6-88 or 5-68. Have no fear, just break it down. The number that comes before the dash is the level, and the numbers that come after the dash are the tone directions. Now just to make this a little simpler to kind of sink your teeth into, Schwarzkopf Professional uses numbers to denote what's in the tube. We don't use letters really. We know that that's very popular in the United States. But we're a global company, and we're in over 100 countries worldwide. Numbers are universal. So if I see dash eight in the United States, that means red. If I see dash eight in Brazil, uh, Russia, France, dash eight is red all over the world in Schwarzkopf Professional. The Schwarzkopf Professional numbering system language is essentially 10 numbers. But think of it differently. If I asked you, do you think that you could learn German or French and that language was only 10 words and those 10 words meant something, but you only had to learn 10 words. Do you think you could do it today? I have faith that you could. So the numbering system, when you break it down, is quite simple and alleviates the guesswork of, well, what's 6B? It could be 6 brown, 6 beige, 6 blonde, 6 blue. Numbers really give us a very clear indication of what we're looking at and what we can expect to see from the tube. All right, with any great color, it's complemented by an awesome developer. So in Agora Royal, we have the Agora Royal Oil Developers. We call them the Agora Royal Oil Developers because they have a higher increased concentration oil amount in every single one. What that basically means is there is an oil phase and a water phase of our developers. When we relaunched Agora Royal, we decided to increase the oil phase. And essentially what that does is it concentrates all the active ingredients that live in the water phase. And don't forget, developers are essentially H2O2. Water is H2O, but it's H2O2. So that's where the extra oxygen comes in and why developers are developers. So when you think about it, if we've increased the oil phase of the developer, we've essentially concentrated the active ingredients that live in the water phase, making our developers more effective at developing our colors. 
What do we have available for developers in the Agora Royal oil developers? Very straightforward, very common. We have a 10, 20, 30, and 40 volume. Now here we're showing you a chart on the screen that spells out when do you use the 10 volume, how many levels of lift or deposit, all of the things that you can see on the right side of the screen. So if you need to, pause now to take a look and digest all the information that's on the screen. All right, now that you've had a chance to pause, maybe take a look at what the developers can do. They're really quite simple. 10 volume is basically going to be for your deposit, low lighting, uh, minimal gray coverage, uh, tone on tone, anything that you would normally do with a 10 volume. 20 volume is gonna be ideal for any sort of gray coverage and about one to two levels of lift. 30 volume we're gonna use when we're getting into more of a high lift or up to two to three levels of lift or for some of our special gray coverage series. And then lastly, the 40 volume is basically going to be for our high lifting shades in our 10 and 12 dash series to make sure that we're getting the most optimal amount of lift. So the developers, they're special in that they have the increased oil content and the concentrated active ingredients in the water phase, but they each serve a respective purpose that's really quite standard across the industry. All right, so let's give you a better idea in the assortment of Agora Royal, what we've got, and then you at home can start thinking, ah, that would be good for this client, that would be good for that client. So we have a pretty big swatch book, but we're gonna walk you through it world by world to make sure that you understand what we've got. So this is our Agora Royal swatch book. Love it, it's got some, uh, uh, some secret wording that you can't really see on camera, but you can see it when you're up close and personal. Um, this is kind of a fun little thing. But when you open the book, you can see that there are different worlds that we've uh, segmented the whole portfolio in, so it's easier for you not only to navigate through the swatch book, but for you to navigate through the consultation with your client. What do I mean? If I have a client who's looking to be in the world of reds, then I wanna open up to the page that's going to show my client what the red shades are. She doesn't need to see all of the different blondes and all of the different naturals because I wanna focus on what my client wants, which are reds. As we open up the book, this is going to come into our world of naturals. These are going to be the shades that you will likely choose if you're going to use them by themselves or if a percentage of white or gray hair coverage is needed. So as we navigate through here, we have our naturals, which would be our dash zeros our natural extra, which will be the dash zero zeros, our dash one, which is Sandre. Remember, that's what the series is called. Sandre is dash one, it stands for blue violet. And then last up in this world, we have our beiges, which are the dash fours. But let's break a few things down so that you kind of get the inner nuances of the Agora Royal swatch book. In all of the entire book, you're going to have these series cards that'll show you all of the dash zeros that are offered from level nine all the way down to level one. Now, how do I know if I'm gonna get 100% coverage from anything in this series? When you look at the bottom, you can see there's a percentage number. Within the book, it will either say 100% or it'll say 70%. That tells you how much coverage you're going to get from anything in that series. And since we're talking about Agora Royal dash zeros, anything here will give us up to 100% gray or white hair coverage. Now, let's say we have that client who's got really stubborn gray white hair. I cannot get it lifted. Um, the best visual I can give you is there is a client that comes into you <laughs> who has hair on their head that feels and looks like the beard on my face. Wiry, coarse, crooked, all over the place hair, you put color on it and sometimes the hair jumps out of the color and does not want to be colored. This is the kind of hair that needs a little bit more muscle. So what's different about our Dash Zero Zero Natural Extra series is that everything here has 25% more pigment than in our regular Dash Zero series, plus there is an increase in ammonia content here to really soften and help swell open that tightly bound cuticle on those very coarse, hard to cover gray white hairs. Now, something else you might be noticing, there are little dots next to some of the shades in the mix. So for example, we have here our 7-00, and you see a little orange dot, and you see a little brown dot. So let's talk about what that means. So within the Schwarzkopf Professional, permanent, demi-permanent, like we have all these different color worlds, we do have something called the dual system application. 
And that basically means we're using two different systems. Agora Royal is a system. Agora Vibrance is a system of our demi-permanent colors. So we're calling it dual system application. What does that mean? It means pairing up Agora Royal and then the exact matching shade in our Agora Vibrance lineup. So you can do a flawless, even root to tip color service that matches perfectly. Why is it dual system though? Well, in our perfect world, we'll be using Agora Royal at the regrowth where either gray coverage is needed or lift or deposit. Wherever I need permanent hair color on that head of hair, I get to use Agora Royal. And then the nice thing is we have matching shades in our demi-permanent Agora Vibrant series that you can then uh, refresh the color on the mid lengths and ends in a perfect match. Not needing to use ammoniated permanent hair color on the ends, we use our demi-permanent brand, which is ammonia free in a matching shade. So we have this perfect world of permanent hair color where I need it and color refreshing in a non-ammonia demi-permanent alternative. Now, as we flip through the book, this would be the page that has all of our sandres and cool tones. These shades are great if you're looking to do any sort of like really cool deposit on pre-lightened hair or the other uh, logical way that we would likely use a cool shade or an intense cool shade is when I'm lifting and I'm exposing a lot of that underlying warmth that naturally lives in a lot of people's hair. So these shades can be used creatively for a deposit and kind of metallic silver tones or to combat or neutralize underlying warmth that becomes like an unwanted nuisance as we're lifting. So we can see here we have several of our Sandre Extras. We have a unique series, which I absolutely love because it's this fun play on both cool and warm, which would be our Dash 1-6. Now remember, Dash 1 is Sandre Blue Violet, Dash 6 is Chocolate. So this would be a perfect series to use on a client that, oh, I don't know, maybe wants to have chocolate in their hair, but hates warmth. <laughs> so this is a phenomenal option to have like that cool chocolate tone where we're getting the clients what they want, uh, but with the control of Sandre. Then we have next up our Dash 2-1 series. And these are going to be primarily blue with a backup of Sandre. These are gonna be really great for lifting and kind of uh, uh, neutralizing a lot of that underlying warmth. And then a more recent series that we've got is our Dash 2-4 series. These are gonna be ash or blue with a secondary uh, tonality of beige. So think of like a really cold, icy kind of a toffee color. I think these are brilliant and phenomenal for either toning or lifting with that subtle hint of beige as a backup. So within this world, our cool and sandre colors are gonna give us control or creative capabilities. Now in this world, we're gonna find our beiges and golds. Secretly, this is one of my favorite worlds uh, because I love beige. Uh, I think it's beautiful. So here we have our dash four twos. Remember, in the last world of Sandres and Cools, we had two fours, which were primarily blue with a secondary tone of beige. These are the opposite. They are primarily beige with a backup of blue. They're absolutely beautiful as toners. They're absolutely gorgeous to intermix when we're talking about gray coverage, which we're gonna cover in just a second. But they have like that kind of icy, taupey beige color with that backup of blue. So you get like this kind of iridescent hue on the hair. I absolutely love them. Then we have our Dash 4 sixes, and these are going to be primarily beige with a backup of chocolate. So these are absolutely phenomenal if you have a client that is normally uh, formulated with just Dash Zero and you kind of want to spice it up or, or put something different in the mix. Um, our beige is a cool beige, don't forget. And then with the backup of the chocolate, these make for some really pretty shades. Next up, we have just our golds. These are the Dash Five Fives. So we decided within Igora Royal, we wanted to make our golds a little intense, especially for where they live at lighter levels. And then last up, we have our Dash 5 sevens, which are going to be our gold coppers. Um, these are shades that you could use um, as reflective low lights or um, as like that mid kind of tone color when you're uh, depositing maybe a low light on like that copper strawberry blonde. Those are gonna be absolutely phenomenal. All right, 
Now here is our world of chocolates. These are gonna be gorgeous for anybody who kind of embraces that kind of warm brown tone. Um, and of course, anything with Inigora Royal um, in the core assortment is intermixable. So you can get as creative as you want. So starting off, we have our dash sixes. These are our chocolates. Remember, our chocolate is like that brown base, but it has a little bit more of like the goldy orange undertone to make it like that really rich kind of warm, hot chocolate. Then we have our dash six three. These are primary chocolate with a backup of matte, AKA green. Sounds a little strange, but let me tell you this. Dash 63s are also a really great series of color if you have a client who likes to be chocolate but hates red. And we know that warmth is a natural part of being chocolate. However, think of this as like almost like a chocolate mint. The mint is gonna control any kind of excess warmth that is bubbling up from the inside and give it control, but still allow you to be chocolate. Next up is our Dash 65s. These are just all across the board chocolate golds. These are gonna be great for deposit, great for intermixing. Um, I'm really enjoying right now the mix of like cool and warm. Um, so mixing maybe like a Sandre Cool Dash 1 tone with your Dash 65s. It's one of my favorite low light formulas two parts of a dash six five to one part dash one, you get that beautiful balance of both chocolatey warmth and gold, but with the grounding and the kind of iciness that you get from a dash one. Beautiful low lights, depending on the level that you're choosing. And then last up, we have our dash six eights, which are gonna be our chocolate reds. Uh, think fall, think chocolatey red, um, auburn kind of uh, end results. This is a phenomenal world to play with. So far, we've talked about our Naturals World or the Shade Series that'll give us up to 100% white coverage. Then we've, we're getting into like the beiges and the golds and now our chocolates, where I find a lot of uh, popular gray coverage formulas come from, especially for people who don't wanna just have flatly colored hair. They want like a little chocolate for warmth. Maybe it's because their skin color um, is fading a little bit or their eye color isn't as strong as it was years past. So let's take a hot second and talk about how do I kind of generically formulate for gray coverage in Igora Royal. You would take, let's say for example, a fashion shade. And our fashion shades offer us up to 70% white hair coverage. This is our Dash 6 chocolate series. And you can see right at the bottom, it'll say 70%. That 70% tells me that within our chocolate series, I will get up to 70% white hair coverage. What if my client has 100% or just a lot of gray hair and I wanna use a chocolate on her? I know that if I put straight dash six chocolate on my client who has gray hair, I'm not going to get 100% coverage. Each white hair is gonna look like it's been 70% covered, but still be maybe even a little bit hollow. So that's where we come into utilizing our gray coverage series. So for example, I have here our Dash Zero series. These are my naturals. So what does this look like? It's actually quite simple. Our recommended formula for gray coverage in Agora Royal is like a starting off point, is two parts of your fashion colored series. So a, fa a shade that gives me up to 70% white coverage, two parts of that color, to one part anything, 100% coverage series. So in a formula that we're putting on the side of the screen here so that you can see, what would that look like? In a 60 gram color formula, I would be doing 40 grams of 6-6 to 20 grams of the respected level 6-0. So two parts 6-6, one part 6-0, most of Agora Royal, besides the high lifts, is mixed equal parts with our Agora Royal oil developer. Our standard developer, as we covered already for gray coverage, would be 20 volume. So that formula would be 40 grams of 6-6, 20 grams of 6-0, with 60 grams of 20 volume. Mix that up, you would leave any of the Agora Royal up to develop anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes. 30 minutes would be 10 volume for tone on tone, pretty much anything else, you're gonna want either the full lift and or deposit, go ahead and leave that on up to 45 minutes. But that is basically the kind of generic way to formulate for gray coverage using Agora Royal.
In Agora Royal, we have our red series. Schwarzkopf Professional has been kind of known for our reds since time started. They're stunning, they're pure, and they're definitely on tone. In this world, we have our coppers, our reds, and our violets. Everything here is going to be considered a fashion shade, giving us up to 70% white hair coverage. So they're very bold and beautiful in their jewel tone um, shimmer. But if I need to, I can intermix these with any of the 100% coverage series to achieve not only that intense bright jewel tone, but the coverage that we need so that we have solid grounded coverage. Now, as we progress on into the Agora Royal book, there is a whole section here called the Agora Royal Absolutes. They come in a little different packaging than our red box, which are considered the core Agora Royal shades that we showed you earlier. These ones come in like this kind of brownish, taupey, tan, grayish brown box. Um, and these are specifically, you can see here, Agora Royal Absolutes. The Agora Royal Absolutes are specific shades designed for clients that have more than 50% white hair. We had talked earlier about intermixing for gray coverage. So our generic formula, if you remember, was two parts of your fashion shade to one part, anything that offers 100% white coverage. A chocolate and a natural, a red and a beige. All of those that give 100% white coverage, you can intermix with. But wait, there's more. What if I told you you didn't have to intermix anything at all? The Agora Royal Absolutes are exactly that. These are shades that are designed to give you the fashion shade and the coverage all in one go. So let's see what that looks like. We said at the beginning of our Agora Royal uh, course that the number that comes before the dash is the level. The first number that comes after the dash is the primary tone. And the second number that comes after the dash is the secondary tone. We'll take a look at this example. Four is my level. And now the first number that comes after the dash is a six, which stands for chocolate. And then we have that little backup of zero. So this is telling me it's a level four chocolate that has neutral already built in. Now there is a little bit of a difference in the Agora Royal Absolutes um, in how you mix them. So they are specifically for clients who have over 50% gray or white hair. I want the fashion, I want the coverage in one tube. Now they're different than the core of Agora Royal. Uh, we consider all of the red boxes the core assortment. So Agora Royal Absolutes have 30% more pigment. They have a slightly higher alkaline or more ammonia. They are intermixed so that you don't have to mix two parts of your fashion, one part of your gray coverage series. But there is a separate technology on top of true color and high definition uh, in the Agora Royal Absolutes. It's called Ciliamine and Collagen. Now, uh, I think, you know, throughout TV and movies, we can see what collagen does um, to the skin or the face. Uh, think of it as doing the exact same thing to hair. As we age, uh, the hair becomes a little bit more brittle, a little bit more stiff, which is why typically gray or white hair clients that have a higher percentage of gray white hair, their hair doesn't exactly move the same way because it's stiffened. The keratins have kind of hardened. It's growing out of the head differently. So the collagen will help give that gray, stiff, almost brittle hair a little bit of movement, a little bit of flexibility. Now, ciliamine is a very cool technology. Um, when you think of like the ideal strand of hair, it's like a perfectly smooth, flat surface. But a gray or white strand of hair, if this is like maybe this is a bump because the cuticle layer is tighter right there. Now there's a dip here and now it comes back up. Ciliamine is a really cool technology. It almost looks like, like a jelly bean and the under part of it has been uh, cut off. Now flip that over. It fits perfectly into the divots of the surface of the strand of hair, now making it a flat surface. And what do flat surfaces do? Reflect light. So the ciliamine is something that addresses the outside of the hair structure of that kind of brittle, coarse, gray white hair structure. And the collagen is what helps the inside of the hair strand and to give me some flexibility and some movement like youthful pigmented hair. 
So that is one of the biggest technology differences for Agora Rail Absolutes. On top of true color and def high definition, on top of being pre-mixed, so I don't need to um, use any sort of up to 100% coverage series to get my 100% coverage. Um, and they're just this ideal kind of grab and go. One final thing to remember with the Agora Rail Absolutes. It might seem a little strange at first, but we do recommend the Agora Royal Absolutes to be mixed with our Agora Royal Oil Developer 30 volume. Now this might sound a little strange, but hear me out. There are 30% more pigments in these tubes. If I have more pigment, I need more oxygen to develop that pigment. If I don't use 30 volume, what will happen? Let's say I just use 20. It's not enough oxygen for the amount of extra pigments in the Agora Royal Absolutes, so you might end up looking maybe a half to a whole level darker, depending on that client's hair. Now for clients that are over 90% white hair, I mean, they're probably walking around with a head of hair looking like this, <laughs> a lot of white hair. We give you the option to mix the Absolutes with 20 volume for the very reason that we told you that you would mix with 30 volume. And let me clear that up. Regularly, Agora Royal, you would mix with 20 volume for gray coverage. The Absolutes have 30% more pigment. So I need more oxygen to develop that pigment. So 30 volume is what we recommend. If you mix 20 volume with the Absolutes on a regular head of hair, it might look a little deep. So that's why we're saying 30. But think about this, think it through. A client who has 90% white hair on their head, I kind of want that extra little bit of deposit. So in a client who has over 90% white hair, we recommend mixing the Agora Royal Absolutes with the Agora Royal Oil Developer 20 volume. And so for the exact reason that it would make pigmented hair look dark, on white hair, I get that extra little bit of depth. Let's get into the world of blondes. Not sure if you know where Schwarzkopf Professional USA is headquartered, but we're in Los Angeles now, the land where blondes reign supreme. And we have several tools within the portfolio to help you get what you need in terms of blonde end results. So let's take a look at our two different high lift series. We have our 12 dash series and our 10 dash series. So let's break these down first. Our 10 dash series is a high lift. This series though has an equal responsibility for both lift and deposit. So these are ideal for natural level seven and lighter. You can get up to four levels of lift with these shades. You'll get up to three levels of lift when you use 30 volume. You'll get up to four levels of lift when you use 40 volume. These are mixed one to one. One part color cream to one part Igora Royal Oil Developer 30 or 40 volume. Now these are a high lift. They take the same characteristic as most high lifts in the market. They will work on virgin hair only. Now our 12 dash series. This is gonna be our special ultra blonde. The difference here versus the 10 dash series. These have a responsibility of mostly lift and to kind of deal with or work with the underlying pigments that's left. These are mixed one part color cream to two parts, either 30 or 40 volume, starting on natural level six or lighter. So I can get up to five levels of lift with these if I'm mixing two parts Agora Royal Oil Developer 12% 40 volume. And they come in six different shades that are absolutely stunning. So at the end of the day, if I'm looking for blonde lifted control, I'm likely gonna go with the 10 series because there's more pigment that's going to give me more neutralization control. If my main focus is lift, I'm gonna use our 12 dash series, which calls for two parts of either 30 or 40 volume, which makes sense because I'm asking for that lift. And then there's enough pigment in a 12 series to kind of work with or deal with the leftover warmth that's there. Now, one of my favorite things in Agora Royal are our pastel toning series. So this makes perfect sense because we have, um, you know, toners that are in our demi-permanent, semi-permanent, um, but we also have them in our permanent range. And you might be asking, well, 
why, what does it mean to have a toner in a permanent range? Basically, your semi-permanent toner is just going to kind of mask the yellow on the hair if you're looking to neutralize. Demi-permanents do a little bit of that in between. They sit on the surface and they go into the cuticle a bit. Permanent toners can go inside the strand of hair. And now here's the ultimate difference. Our semi-permanent toner toners are gonna sit on the surface of the strand of hair. Demi-permanent colors can go into the cuticle layer. Now a permanent toner is able to go inside the strand of hair and couple with and cut the yellow versus just masking it over top. Imagine this is a strand of hair and I have yellow pigments inside. If my semi-permanent and demi-permanent toner sit mainly on the outside, when light shines through that strand of hair, I'm seeing a neutralized result. The ash or whatever it is, is masking the yellow inside the hair. The permanent toners that we're talking about go inside and actually cut and couple with the yellow. So when light shines through that strand of hair, I have an actually uh, neutralized end result. So permanent colors are great when you're looking to kind of eliminate or embrace in a, in a different way the warmth that's in the hair. Disclaimer, caution, <laughs> something to keep in mind is those toners that sit on the surface, that's what they do. They don't have the ability to kind of like go inside of the hair. The Agora Royal Pastel toners are mixed equal parts with our 10 volume. They do have an alkaline in them. It's a very reduced ammonia, but they do exist there. So what I'm telling you is, if a color tube has any sort of alkalinity in it, like these do, and you're mixing them with a 10 volume, it does have the ability to shift or kind of break the base. If that's not what you're looking to do, don't use these. But if it is what you're looking to do, and this is one of the things I absolutely adore, our Agora Royal Pastel Toner 9.5-1. This, mixed with 10 volume, on highlighted hair, balayaged hair, and you've got all of that lift and that brightness, but they still have this kind of mousy, natural level six in between all of the highlights. Not only will your Agora Royal Pastel 9.5-1 uh, tone the highlights, but it also breaks or shifts the base at the same time. You're planting two trees with one seed, and I'm telling you, the end results are just this beautiful, seamless, bright blonde with a softened base that supports all of that brightness. I'm in love, I'm in love. All right, as we come around to the back of the book, we call this our specialty series. Think of the things we've talked about thus far. These are like your, the things that you would make dinner, the meat, the potatoes, the vegetables, all of that. In the back of the book, these are like your seasonings, your oils, your spices that you get to use to kind of tweak or enhance what you're doing up front. So first up in our specialties uh, series are our silver whites. We've talked a lot about all of the different ways to cover gray or white hair. But what we've seen uh, through the pandemic and, and kind of people who are like, you know what, I don't really feel like coloring my hair anymore. We're seeing some people grow out their hair color and kind of embrace their natural gray or white hair. The rude awakening sometimes is you grow your gray or white hair out and it's not quite as vibrant or pretty or white or silvery as you thought it was. So I have clients that are coming into the salon for haircuts or blow dries and they're not getting color from me anymore. But I don't wanna lose them as a color client. The Agora Royal Absolutes Silver Whites are going to be perfect because these are tonal refiners. Basically meaning if I took a client who had 80, 90% white hair around the face, but because of hot tools or smoking or the sun or just pollution, that white hair tends to be a little bit on the, the dingy or the yellow side. We have several options, specifically the silver, that when you put it on as a tonal refiner, it doesn't change the color. It doesn't change like a permanent hair color would. It just refines the tone. So these are really great for clients who have uh, longer gray white hair that they're looking to embrace. Or on the flip side, uh, for men who are looking for what I would call like a gray reduction service, you could weave these in uh, or color block them in 
because they're considered a demi and you mix them equal parts with 10 volume, you're really not going to get a shift on the natural hair at all, meaning uh, men or women who have silver or gray white hair who are afraid of exposing warmth in that hair, um, you have little to no chance that that's going to shift the hair at all. And you get this beautiful true gray tone deposit on white hair if you're looking to take away from the white, or we have the silver if you're looking to enhance it. All right. We're used to seeing numbers on the boxes, and I think we're all cleared up with the Agora uh, numbering system. These are a little bit different, as you can see. These are the names of the colors, um, and it's really easy to kind of figure out from the boxes which ones are which based on the swatch. So we're not using numbers here, we're just simply using names. Okay, in addition to some spices or tools that we have for you in the back of the book, this one has got to be one of our favorites. In this box right here, the purple boxes, we have what we call Agora Royal Fashion Lights. The Agora Royal Fashion Lights are a very special, high lift, high deposit, permanent hair color. So how do I tell what is a high lift? Well, first of all, it comes in this gorgeous purple box. But, and when they're sitting on your dispensary, you'll see them look like this. So there's a letter here, which is different, but the letter simply stands for lightning or lights, fashion lights. Then the two numbers that come after the dash tell you what tone direction you're going to get. So for this example, we're showing you a box that says fashion lights dash four four or beige beige. Fun fact about the fashion lights. Think of these as like a high lift because their goal is to lift, but they're specially formulated with both direct and indirect dyes, or pigments that are already the color they're going to be and pigments that need to be developed still. So what's really cool and special about the fashion lights is that you would mix them with likely 40 volume to get the lift you're looking for. But what they also do is give you the lift and then the deposit is very intense. And you can see here, we offer them in five different shades. We have L-00, which is going to be a neutral or a natural. We have the L-44, which we've just talked about. And then we have L-77, which is our Fashion Lights Copper. And this is going to give you a very intense kind of orangey copper tone. L-88, which is our Fashion Lights in a red-red tone direction. And then, of course, lastly, but certainly not least, our L-89, which is our Fashion Lights in red-violet. What's unique about these shades is that not only do they give you that really high lift to make sure that you're getting a really bright end result, wait for it, listen up, you can use the Agora Royal Fashion Lights on moderately color-treated hair. Yes, you did hear that correctly. We're telling you that what we've learned in school, color doesn't lift color, and 99.9% .9 of the times, if it does, it's not predictable, so we say it's not a thing. But with the Agora Royal Fashion Lights, we can now, on moderately color-treated hair, get lift and deposit. Let me give you a visual. Client comes in, uh, no matter the time of year, we have shades to address any, any season. Uh, but let's say it's like winter time and your client comes in, she normally gets like a level six chocolate neutral all over color. And she sits down and she's like, you know what, I really want like some pops of red violet. Uh, it's, it's the season, I wanna have fun, I'm gonna be doing you know, stuff with my hair. Let's throw some color in there. On a level six permanent hair color coverage situation, old school, I would have to lighten that hair. So do highlights and lighten the highlights and then go back and deposit your red violet tone with like a demi or a semi-permanent color. And we all know that game. I had to pre-lighten that client, so when I put the intense red violet on, it lasts for like a week or two, then they have to come back and they have to refresh that red violet, and then that lasts a little bit longer, then they come back and they have to refresh that red violet. Now where I've gotten it to the point where that red violet is gonna last, she's like, no, I don't want this anymore. So the nice thing about fashion lights is that I don't need to take a two-step approach. I can mix up my L-89, which is fashion lights red violet, with 40 volume, foil it in, balayage it in, however you want to apply it technique-wise to your client, let it develop for 45 minutes, and not only am I getting lift through that level six, but I'm getting that intense red-violet deposit all in one step. 
So for us, that is a huge deal uh, change maker. Uh, it's, it's so big and um, when you're looking to get really intense pops of color, fashion lights is definitely the way to go. Like we said, there are two different kinds of pigments in here. The first are the indirect or oxidative pigments. That's why we mix this with a developer. But when you squeeze these out of the tube, you'll see bright orange, bright red violet. There are direct pigments or direct dye pigments in addition to the indirect pigments in our fashion lights, which will not only coat the surface of the hair with intense red-violet pigment, but deposit inside of the strand of hair as well. So our fashion lights are a really phenomenal tool if you're looking to create dramatic pops in one go without the bleach and tone two-step process. All right, you found the perfect shade, but you just wish you had a little bit more neutralization capability. Well, we have our neutralizing concentrates that also live in the back of the book. To start, we've got 0-11. Now, before I move on, let's think about the numbering system. What number, or what does the number before the dash mean? The level, or the lightness or darkness of what's in that tube. So if I showed you something that said 0-11, the number before the dash tells me the level. And if it says zero, it means there is no level. So, 0-11 tells me that I have no level and just pure cendre pigment. So I can add this to maybe like a lighter formula to get better neutralization, maybe on like my nines and 10 levels. Then if you look here, we have 0-22, and this is going to be my blue concentrate. And you can see right there that it's, it's significantly blue. And blue is, as we know, the coldest or the coolest, most neutralizing color on the color wheel. So the, the, this is great for doing anti-orange. And you can see, we're going to pop up on the screen right now, the mixing chart for how much of these to mix into your formula. So go ahead and take a look at that. And then last up, out of the neutralizing concentrates, we have our 0-33. This is going to be our matte or anti-red additive that you can add to any formula. Word of caution to formulating with neutralizing concentrates. Don't forget your color theory. Cool colors tend to absorb light. Absorbing light, AKA, translates to could look deeper. So when you're adding something intense, like a blue or a green to a formula, and I'm shooting for a level seven, don't forget, the more cool tone you add to your formula, the deeper it's going to look by the time you're done. So the mixing table that you can see is a great guide for how much of the neutralizing concentrates to mix into your formula. All right, so let's say you have that client who, we love her copper, but now I wanna make it look fire. We have the intensifying boosters that you can add up to 50% of the formula. So they come in 0-55 gold, 7-7 copper, 8-8 red, 8-9 red violet, and 9-9 violet. Just like the neutralizing concentrates, the intensifying boosters, however much you add, please add the respective amount of developer. And with the intensifying boosters, I can go up to 50% of the formula. Now remember, there's no level. 0-55 means it's no level and just pure gold pigment. So these are going to be intense. They are going to give you a lot more reflection. And with the opposite of cool tones, don't forget, if I have a level seven copper client, and I add up to 50% of the formula, gold concentrate, to make that copper really dance and almost look like the flames of a fire, warm tones reflect light. So my level seven copper might look like a level eight if I add a lot of gold copper intensifying boosting concentrate. So we have ideas and ways for you to enhance your formulas if you need more neutralization or if I need to boost the fieriness of what I'm working with. Now we have more tools for you to use to kind of tweak your formulas. Looking at the bottom of this card, we have this swatch here. It's called Pastel Fire. And you can see on the boxes, there's no numbers. It's just simply called Pastel Fire. 
think of the word. You could take anything that we have in Agora Royal and dilute the intensity of that tone and basically turn it into a pastel. So for example, I have level six violet violet and I wanna make more of like that lilac lavender kind of a purple. I could take my level six violet violet and mix pastel fire into it and basically dilute the tone intensity to give me more of that lilac or that lavender. But the pastel fire doesn't just dilute. It does have the capability to give us up to three levels of lift if you use it by itself. So there's lifting capability, but because it is such a light, delicate color, it does dilute the tone intensity of anything you've got in the book. The nice thing about pastel fire is that there is a very, very soft, subtle Sandre tonality to it, or blue violet. So what we love about pastel fire, especially right now in 2023, is that a lot of people are really enjoying and embracing lived in color. So not so much these crazy intense bright orange coppers or uh, intense neon greens. A lot of people, those are very still popular, but a lot of people are enjoying like a lived in more of a powdery nuance color. So the pastel fire is great for giving you like that powdery finish and a dilution of your tone intensity wherever that might be in the book, but that depends on how creative you want to be. We have clear in semis. We have clear in demis. Why do we have a clear? Well, in a demi-permanent color formulation, a clear might be used as a standalone shine service. Or I could use a clear in a demi-permanent to dilute the tone to make an infinite possibility of, of, of tones that I get to choose from. I could take purples and dilute them to make lilacs. I could take reds and turn them into bubblegum pinks. You can get as creative as you want with clear. We've always seen them in demis and semis, but now we have a clear in Agora Royal. And I know that it's clear because it's a tube of nothing dash nothing nothing. It's zero dash zero zero. So you would use clear in Agora Royal the same way that you would use clear in any other color formulation. It's just offered in a permanent hair color uh, formulation. Like I said, take your level six red, take your level nine gold, add clear to it to dilute the tone intensity to basically pastel eyes, anything that you want in the book um, and have fun with it. The only thing that I would say about the clear in Agora Royal is that you wouldn't necessarily use it like you would a clear in a demi-permanent for just a standalone shine service. You're gonna wanna stick with the clears of like our Agora Vibrance or our Chroma ID brand, which you can find videos for on our YouTube channel. The clear in Agora Royal is more of a technical tool that we use to dilute the intensity of anything else in the book. Now, if you are a colorist of one year, 41 years. All of us live our lives based around the tool that you're seeing in front of us. This is the color wield. It is our law. It is how we live and breathe when we are formulating for clients. So we've got our color wheel and it basically showcases where our tone directions or series sit on the color wheel. So here is where we're gonna find our golds. Over here is where we're gonna find more of our coppers, getting into reds, and then maybe into like the, the red violets, so everything that we've got is kind of covered on the color wheel. What this is showing us is, how do I formulate for gray coverage? Well, the top strands here are showing me what 30, 50, 70, and 90% white hair look like on a natural level seven. And then what 30, 50, 70, and 90% white hair looks like on a natural level four. So this is a really good tool uh, how do I use this? You essentially take this, uh, we call it a white selector, and you would hold it up to your client's hair and try to figure out, am I working with 90% white hair, 70% white hair? Unfortunately, I think I fall into the higher category, but that is exactly how you use this tool and it can help you uh, formulate for how much gray coverage do I need to account for. And this is just a really great tool. Like I said, whether you are new to color or a seasoned veteran, this is an underlying pigment uh, chart that basically shows if I lift my client to a level five, I'm going to experience more of a red, uh, kind of an orange, um, and the kind of underlying warmth that you see. And the reason that this is in the back of the book, 
specifically next to the color wheel is if I lift my client to that uh, level six and I know that I'm gonna be working with or working against more of that orange, I can find where that orange lives on the color wheel and then because of the color wheel, the law of color, if I just jump across from that, it will tell me exactly what I need to use in order to neutralize what I'm looking to neutralize. So these are really great tools in the back of the book, not only to give us insight as to what we're working with, but also how to formulate for what I have in front of me. We hope that this Igor Royal foundational seminar was really informative for you and that you got a lot out of it and that you feel comfortable and confident using this behind the chair from this day forward. If you'd like more advanced education or you enjoyed this series, check out some of our other Schwarzkopf Professional YouTube educational content on our Schwarzkopf USA page. Uh, we also do have an e-academy that you can visit. Um, the link through that is our www.schwarzkopf-professionalusa.com website. We look forward to seeing you in the next videos coming up. Have a great day.